Before we talk about your next-gen Scrum option in Jira Cloud, let's spend some time reviewing what Scrum methodology is all about. Scrum is a type of framework for agile development. It focuses on a team finishing an agreed-upon amount of work within a set time frame, which is called a sprint. Sprints are generally two weeks, but may be longer or shorter, depending on what your team needs. The idea behind Scrum is that you can complete small portions of work to quickly deliver functionality, but remain flexible with the project as a whole, and be agile. As with most Scrum projects, work in a Scrum next-gen project begins in the backlog, where you add issues your team needs to complete. Your backlog is your to-do list. You can add items to your backlog and then drag them to a sprint, or you can create a sprint directly from your backlog. To add an item to your backlog, under the Backlog section, click Create Issue. In the What Needs to be Done field, type the title of your task and then click Create, and then the issue appears. When you build your backlog, remember that you can add stories in here and later take the time to groom the backlog and break down or remove stories. This is the long list you need to pull from to plan your team's work and build your sprints. Also note that you can hover over an item in the backlog and use the ellipses menu that appears to organize your backlog, moving items to the top or the bottom of the backlog as needed. And speaking of sprints, let's talk about those next. A sprint is a container for all of the work a team decides to do for a specific time period. Once you have plenty of issues in your backlog, you can build a sprint. A Jira Scrum Board automatically includes your first sprint ready for you to update with issues. To build your sprint, all you need to do is drag issues from the backlog or create issues directly in your sprint using the Create Issue link. If you want to dig deeper into the Scrum process, you may be interested in our course Jira Software Server for Scrum, specifically the sections that cover running a sprint. Those processes are the same in cloud or server. You can only have one active sprint at a time, but you can build future sprints in your backlog. This process may be useful in doing some advanced planning for your team, or if you have travel or specific engagements you know you want included in a future sprint. Let's walk through building and starting a sprint in your next-gen project. In your Scrum project, click Backlog to access your project's backlog. Move items from your backlog to your sprint. You have a couple of ways you can do this. You can drag your items one at a time, or you can also Shift plus click to select multiple items and drag and drop to your sprint. You can also hover over an issue and click the ellipses menu on the far right and then select to move to a specific sprint or to the top or bottom of the backlog. Now that we have the issues in our sprint, we can start our sprint. Click Start Sprint to finalize your sprint information and get going. In the Start Sprint window, type a name for your sprint. You may have one set automatically that reflects your project key and then Sprint 1. Next, set the duration. For example, we're going to use the standard of two weeks for the QA team sprint. Then set your start and end date for the sprint. You can update your end date from the automatic one given based on your sprint duration if you'd like. Lastly, if you choose, set a sprint goal and then click Start. When you start your sprint, you can start working from your project board to transition issues and manage the tasks your team needs to complete. The board for a Scrum project works like the board for a Kanban project. If you want to check out how to work on a board, view our video on board configuration using the link below this video. When it's time to close the sprint, just click Complete Sprint in the top right of your board and complete the requested information. If your team hasn't finished all the issues, you can choose to move those to the next sprint if you have future sprints set up, to a brand new sprint, or to your backlog. Technically, Backlog and Sprints are two features your next-gen Scrum board has automatically turned on. Don't accidentally turn them off unless you are trying to convert your project to a more Kanban-based approach. Your Scrum project also includes reports. 
There are two reports available at the time this video was developed. If you are interested in seeing some analytics regarding your team's work, check them out. There is another feature related to scrum boards that may be worth exploring, the roadmap. The roadmap is a planning tool to help manage your epics. This feature is still in its early stages, so we recommend playing around with it in a test project.